Dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Two positive charges of magnitude Q and 2Q are fixed as shown. At which position is the electric field due to these charges equal to zero? So we want to find the distance where the electric field due to these two positive charges will be equal to zero. This charge is positive. This charge is also positive and we want it to be equal to zero electric field intensity. What could be the point? Okay, so let us just imagine at the point A, try to understand uh, the positive charge, the electric field direction is always away from the positive charge and it is always going towards the negative charge. So this is the positive charge and the electric field uh, direction by Q will be away from it. So it will be in this direction clearly and it is nearer to it. So that is why the field is strong. And let us talk about the 2Q now. So the 2Q will be also <coughs> the direction of the electric field by the positive charge will be away from 2Q. So even that is going to be like this. Although it will be way lesser than Q, no doubt about that. So I can also draw it like this because that 2Q charge is farther away. But anyways, it is 2Q. So that is why it will be bigger also. Multiple factors. Anyways, so both of the directions are towards left hand side. So there is no chance of being zero. Anyways, let us go for D point now. So the 2Q is very near to it. So it will be obviously repelling D and the other charge, which is Q, which is lesser as well as it is farther away, but it would be forcing the D towards the same direction, but it would be on the other side. Now you see, whenever we are trying to find the electric field intensity or electric field strength at one particular point, you can just imagine that there is a positive unit charge which is placed at that point. You can also understand it like this, that the positive charge will be repelling each other. And so this positive charge is going to repel this positive one Q unity, isn't it? And that is why there will be a force towards left hand side. Let us now concentrate at B and C. So see what is happening. So this Q will be repelling B with some force and this 2Q will be again repelling the point or I should not say that it is repelling but the direction of the electric field is away from the positive charge. So the direction of this will be away. Now you see the distance is large so the value of the force will be lesser but the charge is more like it is double. So there is a possibility that they will be having like kind of equal and opposite electric field. So there is a high chance that B will be the correct answer for us. But before going to that, let us go for C and try to see what is happening there. Now the positive charge is this and obviously the electric field direction is away from it. It's like this. But 2Q charge is placed very near. So C is a point which is nearer to 2Q thereby the effect will be more. Also, the 2Q is having double the quantity of the charge. It means that the repulsive force will be way more than the other force. So the net force on C will be towards left hand side. So even at C, it will not be zero. For D, the net force is towards right. For A, the net force is towards left. For C, the net force is again towards left. So we are remaining only with one option and that is B. So my dear students, B will be the correct answer. This is the correct explanation for this question. If you are still not feeling uh, happy about the explanation, you can please mention that in the comment section. If you are interested in doing paper two questions also, you can join the YouTube channel and you can access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.